What's up guys, welcome back to another Kangen Omega What If Battle. Today we have Gao Lang vs Wakatsuki. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and join the Discord if you want to talk more about these What If Battles or any other Kangen and Mega stuff. Link is in the description. Now, I hope you enjoy. So I'm going to be going over their stats and physical attributes and then I'll go over how the fight will play out and eventually who the winner is. So stay tuned to the end of the video. So I'll start with Gao Lang. So he also known as the Thai God of War. His current age in Kangen Omega is 30. His Kangen wins in is 1 and Kangen losses is 1. His defeat was against Kano Egito, the 5th Fang Matsuda in the Annihilation Tournament. I'll be taking in my prediction of their power level at the current chapter 58 of Omega. What my prediction is at their current power level and how strong they'll be after the 2 time skip. And that's what I'm going to be basing the battle off. So for his power and abilities, Jiao Lang is an extremely powerful fighter who utilizes boxing in his combat style, focusing on extremely fast damage flicker jabs. His physical abilities are said to be top notch being able to throw heavy punches at any position and even unstable one. His punches alone can knock out majority of opponents as stated by him and before the Annihilation Tournament he was able to knock out every one of the opponents except for Saw Pang who was the first person to not be knocked out by him but even though he was defeated by Gao Lang anyway. But he t tends to limit his style to boxing style with him being the world champion and he also is very well versed and a master at using Muay Thai techniques and during the Annihilation Tournament it was shown that he combined the Muay Thai techniques with his boxing techniques to pretty much become an unstoppable force and be absolutely chatty lad. Uh, his named attack is only one, known as Flash. Jia Long suits a box move while being weighed down by 10 ounce gloves. He's able to fire off quick 13 jabs in a single breath and that's his Flash attack. And currently in Omega, he is the first fighter to go up against Purgatory in the Purgatory vs Kangen tournament at the current chapter 58 uh, time frame. So we haven't seen him fight yet. It's going to be a week there's not going to be a chapter next week so we won't get to see them fight that's why i wanted to bring out this video before that to see what's going to happen and give my prediction mainly on galang here but he's the first one to fight up and he's fighting another guy who said to be a boxer you have to be a boxer or something along those lines so that's cool to know pretty much a boxing muay thai absolute chad galang now for wakasuki also known as the wild tiger his current age in omega is 42 he has the most kangen wins in the kangen verse with 309 wins and three kangen losses. His losses include against the 5th Fang of Metsudo before the Annihilation Tournament and Hatsumi Sen before the Annihilation Tournament and during the Annihilation Tournament he was defeated by Takita Oma. Uh, his power and abilities. He has an only, he has something known as the Super, uh, what's it called? Man Syndrome or something along those lines. Superhuman Syndrome. He is, this is due to his high muscle density which is stated to be 42 times higher than average and he weighs almost 200 kg for his size allowing him to deal extremely powerful blows. Even as a child, he could fight off opponents that were like triple his size due to his muscle density. Before the Annihilation Tournament, when he got his first fight, he would fight based on his pure brute strength alone to beat his opponent, but after he was defeated by Kanoegi to the first time, he began working more on his uh, technique and pretty much foresight and everything that goes into a battle, not just putting all these like strong raw punches. He added two aces in hole to either to take uh, revenge against Agito in the Annihilation Tournament, even though he didn't get to do that. His blast core and some grappling moves that he's able to use. Wakasuki also gained techniques that were said to be on par with pro grapplers, so that's good to know. And he's what's called power and ability to pretty much have some, not the most foresight, but some lower levels of foresight with his superhuman strong and intense endurance and strength. It makes him just a superhuman in general. And it's also good to know that Gao Lang, he has a lot more foresight than Wakasuki, being able to predict and see moves coming. Wakasuki's two named attack that he used, one is known as Crescent Moon Kick and Blast Core. Uh, Blast Core, probably the strongest physical attack in all of the K universe that we've seen. Wakasuki's single technique which he invented as his ace in the hole for Kanogito. This powerful and punch involved compressing all his muscles to a single point in the center of his body and then unleashing it. It's good to know after the Annihilation Turn or before the Annihilation Turn that injuries both characters receive. Wakasuki has an ankle issue that hinders his movement at times and seems to play a part after he uses some high level techniques like the blast core that seems to cause a problem and Gao Lang probably doesn't have any injuries but he did I believe break his hand during all his knuckles during the annihilation tournament so that could play a part in this battle if he's still not 100% recovered from that or if it's long lasting injury from that so now how the battle will play out so when it comes to raw strength and ability to take blows Wakasuki has the advantage in that part but when it comes to speed technique 
technique and probably tactics, uh, Gao Lang has an advantage there. So who would be stronger? Strength and endurance versus speed, tactics and technique. This is how it's going to go. The battle is going to play out like this. Gao Lang is going to be able to avoid a lot of Wakasuki's attacks because you have to remember during the Annihilation Tournament, his only opponents that he really faced where they were like a lot faster than him was really Oma. Oma was probably faster speed-wise than Wakasugi, but even that due to all of his injuries, injuries I mean, he wasn't really going out there. And then he won against someone who just had given up, like Muta with his forfeit during the middle of the match. So you have to say that Wakasugi didn't really have any good uh, speed feeds. And then in the past, he lost against people like Hatsumi and the Fang who are high level speed characters, but they're not comparable to Gao Lang, who is one of the fastest characters in the Kangen verse, in my opinion. And especially after the two year time skip, from what we've seen them, he's seen every like uh, flashback panel we've seen of Gao Lang, it's him uh, running or in a boxing ring. And for Wakasuki, every flashback or panel we've seen him in Omega is him lifting weights. So we can assume that Wakasuki may be a little bit more stronger, but I doubt he has the speed to really do any major damage or major keeping up with Gao Lang in the early parts of the fight. So the fight will start out with Gao Lang pretty much going some like peak shots in, going back, going some peak shots, just avoiding Wakasuki and trying to not get hit. But eventually, if Wakasuki is able to get a hold or hit a blast core on Gao Lang, it's over. If he hits one blast core, Gao Lang is defeated, KO'd, simple as that. He has, Gao Lang doesn't have terrible endurance, but I don't think he'll be able to survive a direct hit from a blast core. But I think uh, Gao Lang being a boxer, being able to dodge attacks quite easily, having force and the speed, he will most likely be able to avoid a direct hit from a blast core, which may allow him to survive a half uh, hit blast core on him. But will Wakasuki be even able to hit Gao Lang? It's stated that Gao Lang wasn't able to pretty much knock out or yeah, KO uh, Saw Pang in the past, but this is like four years later than the past. So we could say Gao Lang maybe has more power since the two year time skip, and he's most likely been training quite hard since then to pretty much get stronger after he was defeated by the Fang. And it's good to note they both have been defeated by the fifth Fang of Matsuda, so that's good comparison. Wakasuki didn't get to fight him in the Annihilation Tournament, well, Gao Lang did and made pretty much pushed him to his limits where he had to evolve two times during the fight. My opinion, one of the greatest fights, Gao Lang versus the Fifth Fairy Matsudo during the Annihilation Tournament. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, or last week or so, when I made my ranking all Team Kangen for my Kangen vs Purgatory couple videos I made, I put Gao Lang above uh, Wakasuki in the rankings of that. And I was going to say, I think Gao Lang will probably be able to defeat Wakasuki. As I mentioned before, Wakasuki has that endurance to tank blows, but I don't think he has the most endurance in the Kangen I think he's probably third on endurance for the Kangaverse with, or maybe, yeah, I'll, I'll give him third with number one being uh, Sugabahashi, number two being Sawpang, and number three being Wakasuki, having endurance while being able to tank blows. But with that alone, I think Gao Lang, he won't be able to knock Wakasuki out per se, such as he wasn't able to knock out Sawpang, but I believe he'll be able to just deal that much damage to him where Wakasuki's data bar will finally give out, and he won't be able to really do anything just because, remember, he's 200 kilos of this like raw dense muscle walking around and if he's trying to chase Gao Lang around he'll eventually just give in but saying that the fight won't be easy Gao Lang had to put everything into the fight to beat Wakasuki in my opinion and the, the thing is if he gets one clean blow on Gao Lang it's over so if Wakasuki did work on his speed during the two year time scale, and he's actually a speed star can do like an insane quick attack out of nowhere and this body Gao Lang before he even notices he will win but currently by my standings I think Gao Lang just has that much speed to just avoid and foresight and just being able to avoid that many attacks from Wakasuki that he will eventually warn him out and take the dub. That's my opinion. I may end up doing this video again, Gao Lang versus Wakasuki, after the tournament against Purgatory uh, finishes because it will have new powers from both of them, new stats for both of them. See how strong they are, see who performs better, and we'll finally get a better understanding who really is stronger after the two years' time soon. So, if you want me to make this video again after the Poker Tournament, make sure to let me know down in the comments. And also, let me know down in the comments your thoughts on this battle. Do you agree with me that Galang will win? Do you not agree with me? Do you think Wakasuki will win? I know many of you will, but just if I had the view, it's okay if you think Wakasuki is going to win. It's going to be extremely close, but as my view is Galang outmatches Wakasuki in the battle. If you enjoyed today's What If Battle, make sure to subscribe if you want to talk more about it. Join the Discord, link is in the description, and make sure to let me know what battle you want next. The uh, comment with the most likes, or the comment I see the most, or the next one of battle will be the next battle most likely. So make sure to leave that down in the comments. And that's it guys, peace.